Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the Perfect Grade Unicorn Gundam 02 Banshee Norn. I'm super excited about this kit. It was literally like just delivered less than an hour ago, and it was actually delivered at like 11 p.m. at night. Super weird. The delivery guys here are like really behind schedule because it was a holiday recently. So uh, anyway, I'm glad that he got it to me today anyway. But so I want to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible, so let's get to unboxing this. Uh, as you can see, my camera is quite far back. That uh, This thing is barely fitting in my photo tent here. Of course, it's going to be a really big box uh, with it being a 160 scale perfect grade kit. That's pretty normal. This box is actually bigger than the box for the Perfect Grade Unicorn uh, because obviously we have a little bit more in here just with the uh, new parts that we've got for the Banshee so the box is going to be uh, slightly deeper. Uh, the uh, Unicorn box was about 18 centimeters deep. This one's about 20-21 centimeters deep so it's about uh, a couple centimeters or about an inch uh, deeper. So uh, very similar box art here for the uh, box all around as the Perfect Grade Unicorn. On the front we've just got this side here. On the back, uh, just the name like that. Here on the sides, on this side we've just got a bit about the destroy mode. It's showing the transformation stages, the unicorn destroy mode and the un destroy unchained mode. And just going down here Again, just more about the Unchained uh, mode there, and just some gimmicks. All of this stuff I'm sure we're going to see in the manual, so don't want to spend too much time on the outside of the box. There's a lot on the inside we need to get to as well. The other side, we just got a bit here about the Unicorn mode now. Uh, I actually prefer the Unicorn mode for this kit, so it's probably where it's going to go eventually. Uh, and then just some more details there. And we can see the list price for this is 22,000 yen, so pretty expensive. Ah, and with that, I should also say a huge thank you because this kit was actually provided to me by my sponsor, Mind Phoenix Hobby Store. So please, please, guys, definitely check out their shop. Uh, they're only servicing Australia at the moment, so if you guys are in Australia, uh, please do me a favor and check them out. They're so super generous to supply this kit for me. Uh, to share with you guys so really excited about this kit and so glad to be able to share it with you guys so uh, going around on the top now uh, we've just got the Banshee Norn flying there in unicorn mode like we saw uh, in the anime of course and there the top on the bottom I think there's basically nothing uh, yeah nothing on the bottom so let me get this opened up just a minute just want to quick show you guys this too, when you actually open the top of the box, when you fold that down, there on the inside part we've got the uh, destroy mode there in the, kind of the same pose, so that's pretty cool. Alright, when we open it up, uh, this is what you're going to see, obviously you just got a, a huge amount of stuff in here, it's always a little awe-inspiring when you open up a perfect grade and you are just got so much stuff in there and the parts are so big and it's just like, uh, wow, it's awesome. Uh, so. Here in the first bag, we can see we've got our foil stickers there. There's going to be some of those for going in like behind some of the cycle frame parts and stuff like that. The cycle frame there. I gotta say the cycle frame looks nicer. It's probably the same as the master grade, but it does, for some reason at the moment, it does look to be like a nicer, brighter orange color than the than the master grade had. But I don't know, it's been a while since I've built the master grade, so I, I could be wrong about that. It could be exactly the same, but at the moment now it does look a little bit brighter. Uh, I don't really think I need to go through all of the bags of this one, uh, but we'll just go through some of these. Here's uh, all of our stickers there in this one with the A-Runner. Uh, and uh, here's some new parts here. This bag with the parts for the armed armor for the backpack. Uh, the arm for the base. Parts for the armed armor DE. We will look at all these runners individually, like always, so... Uh, just some more armor parts here. Here's the new separated T-Runner uh, for the gold parts for around on the legs and stuff. Some gold parts for the legs and some vents. And here's just some more uh, cycle frame. And uh, some more gold parts for in the armed armor backpack. 
as well as our cycle frame parts for inside the Armed Armor DE shield, which is really cool. Uh, the, the Armed Armor DE shield looks really great on this kit. Uh, it's more psycho frame. Uh, so let's dig down to the bottom. And get out the manual. Here's what I was looking for. You could also take a quick look at this too, I suppose. Uh, here is our uh, new V-fin. And just like with the Perfect Gear Unicorn, it does have some little magnets in there, so it'll stick together when it's in Unicorn mode. Very cool. Looks super, super nice. Definitely can't wait to get that out. All right, so let's take a look at the manual. So it's a really, really thick manual. This is like a magazine, basically. Uh, I can see if it, the pages are numbered. So you've got 58. It's basically like more than 60 pages here, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, so I think we can probably just skim through a lot of this, hopefully. I don't think you guys want to actually look through all 60 pages of this on the inside. Super cool art there. Looks really, really nice. Uh, then here, just a whole bunch of information. You can find scans of all this, uh, I think, on like Gundam Guy and uh, Gunjap, Gundam, uh, Gundam Kits Collection. All these main blogs have shared scans of all this stuff already, so you can find that on there if you want to see some more high-def uh, pictures here. Um, then here's our parts list. Of course, so it's going to be quite a lot of stuff here. There's probably uh, going to be a few parts not used, but I'm not really seeing anything axed off, so it looks like Maybe here on uh, some of the runners, it looks like maybe they're missing sections. Those were maybe parts uh, for the Unicorn Gundam that have been omitted for this kit, it looks like. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, nothing really X'd off though, except for a few polycaps here on the polycap runner, so that's going to be uh, pretty much it. Uh, and here, just covering what all we've got. Uh, sadly, we don't get the beam Gatling guns with this kit, which is too bad, it would have been nice, uh, or the bazooka, but all we've got is the uh, beam magnum with the revolving launcher. But that is accurate to the anime, so. Uh, again, just going through the manual, I don't. I want to go through this pretty quickly because I think you guys have either seen this pretty much before. As always, the uh, parts that are including the LED units are going to be highlighted in pink. So if you're not using the LED, you just skip those uh, pink highlighted sections if you don't have an LED unit. Uh, it's going to start off with the body first, going through that, and uh, wiring the LEDs in the body should be fun. Then moving on to the legs and putting the feet together and all the legs legs, the legs it's quite a long and uh, drawn out process I know it's a lot of stuff going on in the legs then wiring the LEDs there LEDs still on the legs <laughs> it's like 10 pages of just putting the legs together, it's crazy uh, still on the legs and then finally we're getting to the waist unit uh, putting that all together, waist, and then putting the legs onto the waist, wiring up the LEDs through there, and through the body, uh, then the side, the back skirts, front skirts, and then uh, finally getting to the arms. And here, by the way, we're on page 32 now, and just starting the arms uh, there. Arms, 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 wiring LEDs in the arms and shoulders. And all of that, more and more, and then through the body. Then finally, to the head. And of course that's going to be the simplest step, shortest step, but then it does have some LEDs in the head as well. Putting that on the body, then onto the backpack. Uh, backpack, backpack. Yeah, all of that, how to move the backpack around, operate those parts. Hopefully that operates better than the Master Grade. Uh, the Master Grade was a little bit finicky, I found. And the weapons, regular shield, armed armor DE, and the beam magnum here. Uh, so we're doing the beam magnum first, and then the regular shield, uh, which is going to go inside the armed armor DE. So then building the armed armor DE parts. 
and then uh, putting that all together, how to change the uh, revolving launcher to use the beam effect part on there, uh, how to mount stuff onto the base, how to transform, now here's everything, how to transform it into destroy mode. So you build it in unicorn mode, then you have to uh, transform it to destroy mode. If you want, of course, we'll do all of that in the review. And also, I've mentioned on my Facebook page, and I'll talk about it on Twitter as well, if you guys follow me on either of those places, uh, I will be doing some live uh, live broadcasts of building this, so uh, I'll be posting the details of when I'll be doing that uh, on Facebook and on Twitter, so if you want to just catch some live uh, viewing of building this kit, and then you'll have a chance to just kind of uh, chat with me, ask some questions and stuff about the kit if you want, or just whatever can do that at that time too, so stay tuned for more pr more uh, details about that. Anyway, uh, this is all... Okay, this part I should go back. Um, this I should have mentioned is if you built the kit first without the LED unit and then later you get the LED unit, this is how to disassemble it uh, in order to put in the LEDs. So this is just uh, all the disassembling here. So if you have that, and then finally in the back we have some more just kind of nice big photos and images from the anime here. Uh, sad picture of Marita Cruz there, who is not the pilot of the Ban Banshee Norn, but is for the Banshee, which uh, here you can see some more stuff about the Banshee there. And then here is our uh, marking guide and a color guide. So here's the color guide for the kit and the marking uh, uh, color guide for the pilot figure. We've just got our uh, Riddy figure there, and then, yeah, the sticker guide for all of that. So, and then on the back, another nice big shot there of the unicorn mode. Loving it there. All right, so now let's get into looking at all of these runners. All right, now this kit has 52 runners, plus polycaps, plus stickers, plus beam effect parts, so that's a lot to get through, so let's get going. So the first thing is going to be our foil sticker sheet. Now, very, very shiny, as I said before, some of these stickers are going to be going uh, behind the uh, cycle frame parts to make it kind of more shiny. We've got a few big uh, square gold ones here, not sure at the moment where those are going, uh, but I'm sure something to do with the cycle frame as well, just because of their kind of orangish gold color. And then here just ones uh, for the eyes and uh, some cameras around on the mobile suit and weapons. Here's our nice big sticker sheet. Uh, too bad that it's not water slides as it really should be with a perfect grade. Uh, Bandai really should have, I mean, this size paper for a sheet of water slides, Bandai really should include that, but sadly they don't, it's just stickers. So I'm um, not sure at the moment if I'm gonna be using these. So normally I would say, if anyone wants these, just let me know, but I. I might use some of these at least just for the review for you guys. Uh, of course, then I'll have to take them off before I paint. But uh, anyway, uh, there's those. I'm trying to do the runners all in actual alphabetical order, but I'm going to just pull this one out and do it separately. This is runner Z though, but this is Saber 3 uh, from 2000, so this is not very new. This is old, I believe. This is the exact same beam saber effect parts you get with the RX78 2 perfect grade. Uh, so just here's our big 160 scale beam saber effect parts. Uh, still a shame that we don't get four of these. I think uh, with the Perfect Guard Unicorn kit, we should have four. The Unicorn didn't have it. Uh, this one doesn't have four. But if you have both of those kits, then you have four. You could use them uh, all four together on one of the kits if you want. Then for polycaps, first we have this one, which is uh, PCO. So it's going to be just kind of this black color and it's just normal polycap material. We do have two of these, but then we also have this one, which is POM-O. Uh, and this one we have three of these, uh, and they all are exactly the same, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this POM-O, this is more of a harder plastic. I believe this is just regular polystyrene, uh, but these aren't marked as like actual runners. They're marked similar to polycaps. Uh, so we'll just look at these first. I believe this is polystyrene, but uh, I could be wrong about that, but it's definitely not the same material as regular polycaps. All right, so our A runner comes nicely packed here in its own little uh, bag with this uh, cardboard backing. If we take it out, we can see that this appears to be that gold plastic, but it's also plated with gold. So you can see this top part here uh, where it's labeled. 
it's actually labeled PG-160 Banshee, so it's kind of interesting that it's not labeled Banshee Norn, it's just labeled for the Banshee. Uh, but uh, when actually the Banshee parts set that's going to be coming from P Bandai is probably not going to include this, so that's kind of interesting, I don't know, uh, something to think about there. But yeah, this is uh, coated in this really, really nice gold. Of course, there is going to be some nubs on here, but I think Bandai has done a pretty good job with the placement of the uh, gates here. They sh those uh, nub marks shouldn't be too noticeable, though we'll have to see when it comes down to uh, assembling it. Runner B is going to be uh, in that very dark navy blue that we're going to be having for the majority of the armor on the outside. Here we can see we've got some parts for the head as well as our beam saber handles. And the majority of these runners are going to be marked with the original marking of PG-160 scale RXO Unicorn Gundam. So again, nothing new here. I think we are probably missing some parts from this section here, although I don't remember from the Perfect Grade Unicorn, but um, the majority of the runners are going to be, of course, recycled. Runner C is a very big runner here. Again, just more uh, armor parts in that same dark blue color. How this works is basically the first handful of runners are all like the dark blue uh, armor parts, then the next set is all the psycho frame parts, then the next set after that is all the inner frame parts, and then after that it goes on to like weapons and accessories. So that's how it's going to go here. Runner D is another large runner here. We can see with some very large parts for the thighs and around on the legs and ankles, feet, I believe, although some of those parts are on the side, as well as some parts here on this side for around the uh, waist section. Runner E looks like parts uh, mostly around for the arm, it looks like here, arms as well as shoulders. So we do have two E runners here, doubled like that. Runner F is going to be a similar story here as we've got two of those and these look like uh, a lot of parts around for the legs. I can see these are mostly all for the legs and knee. Although I do have the Perfect Grade Unicorn, I still have not built that one yet. I was hoping to get that built before getting this one in but I just haven't had time so I will be building this one first before the original Unicorn. Uh, it's just kind of sad but anyway. I have built the Master Grade Unicorn enough times that uh, all of these parts are very recognizable. Of course, this is going to be uh, built in a very similar fashion to the Master Grade. Runner G is going to be the last of our uh, dark navy blue parts, as we just got a few parts here for the skirts, ankles, back of the leg there, very recognizable piece there, as well as some parts for the thrusters here, and we do have two G runners as well. Runner H is a very large runner of orange psycho frame here. That orange, again, is looking very bright, really nice. That's good. Um, a lot of really nice details inside there on those parts, too. So it's going to look really good once that's inside. Whether you're going to paint this or not, um, I've seen a lot of really beautiful builds of this inner frame painted. But uh, it's always a really hard choice to make when you want to paint over uh, these nice clear parts like that. But sometimes uh, for the desired look, just got to do it. Runner I is going to be more psycho frame here. Looks like parts for the thighs, the backpack, and uh, the face there as well. You can see these two little fins there are going to be those new uh, Destroy Unchained mode uh, fins popping out of the top of the head, it looks like, there. Runner J is more inner frame. Looks like parts for the side skirts, uh, arms, and uh, so yeah, mostly that. Shoulders as well, and we do have two J runners. So those are just going to be doubled there. Runner K is going to be uh, just a more inner frame, of course. Here we can see these are going to be a lot of parts for the legs, it looks like, for the most part. And then we do have two of these. This is the last runner of the main body psycho frame parts. We do have a few more, of course, in the weapons, uh, the shield particularly. But uh, we'll get to those much later on down the alphabet. Runner L1 is going to be our just small little little runner of just plain like gray parts. These are going to be the parts uh, going around the neck, uh, the cockpit. There's our nice uh, big cockpit chair there. Looks really cool, uh, pilot chair I should say. And then uh, these gray parts around the waist section as well. Runner L2 is going to be uh, pretty basic here, as it's just our cover for the base that you're going to be using to put in your LED unit or not, depending on whether you're using that or not. Runner M1 here, now we've got our black parts. Of course, we're going to have black feet and a black backpack on this kit. Uh, so there we've got that, as well as runner M2, which is just going to be a copy of the parts for the feet there in this really nice black color. Runner N is now getting into the ABS inner frame parts here. You can see we've got a bunch of inner frame. I'm not going to 
go through and identify all these parts anyway, but we've just got a lot of nice inner frame. It is in that sort of slightly brownish, dark gray color uh, that we see for a lot of the modern uh, inner frame. Uh, I really like the color, so it is looking good. Runner O, once again, is just going to be more inner frame here. We can see very easily identified uh, parts for the waist section there, the hips and the waist uh, armor. Here are this nice big long peg is what's going to be supporting our legs uh, going through the middle of the hip section there. And taking a break from the big runners here for a minute, we've got runner P, which is just a small little runner of just some more frame parts, I believe. These look like some parts possibly for the arms, I believe, but again, could be wrong about that, uh, but there's that. All right, here is runner Q, and this is going to be inner frame parts. Looks like uh, mostly for the legs, it would seem, and we do have two of these uh, nice big Q runners with all of those inner frame parts. Then we have runner R, which is going to be our MP0 hands. Uh, really nice hands there. Of course, just be careful when you're cutting these. Those do have a lot of connection points, so just make sure you cut everything well before you try pulling these off so you don't tear out any plastic on those fingers and have fun cleaning up all those nubs. Runner S is more inner frame. These look like mostly parts for the arm and we do have two of these so uh, lots more inner frame still yet. Here's runner T1 and we've got just parts, more inner frame parts for the leg mostly. Uh, we are going to have two of these T1 uh, and interestingly, interestingly these were separated, uh, T1 and T2 here. The original unicorn, it was all one runner, but now it's been separated to make these T2 runners uh, in this gold plastic, so we've got two of those. Uh, it's not plated, sadly, uh, like the V-fin, and a few later parts as well, but it is just in that gold plastic, so I think it still should look nice. Uh, it does have, if we look really closely, it does still have uh, some of those swirls in there that's typical of this kind of gold plastic, but the majority of this you're not going to be seeing uh, on the actual finished product, so you're probably not going to really notice any of that on any of these like really small areas, so that should be fine. Runner U now, we're getting down to the end of the inner frame parts. These look like a lot of parts for the feet and ankles around the lower, lower part of the leg here. We do have two of these U runners as well. Alright, now we're getting into some weapon stuff as runner V is going to be our uh, all the parts for making our beam magnum. And then runner W is going to be our ammo clips for the beam magnum and we do have two of these. I think anyone who's built a master grade unicorn, especially the full armor unicorn or a perfect grade as well, can probably agree with me in that these are the worst part of the kit. It's just so monotonous to uh, clean up all of these ammo clip parts. I really don't enjoy it at all. Runner X is going to be our very large base plate here. Very, very large. Uh, and here we can see are the ports where we're going to be able to plug in uh, some of the stuff there on that. Uh, yeah, pretty big. Runner Y is going to be the support arm for the base. So there's those parts. Very, very thick, uh, heavy parts here for this. So should have no problem uh, keeping your kit nice and supported if you want to keep it up off of the base in sort of some sort of flying pose. I think you don't need to worry about the weight being an issue for this one. In what you would think would be the A runner here due to its uh, multicolor layout, this is actually WA. Uh, from here on, I believe uh, the majority of the runners left over now are W something. Uh, so these are getting into like the um, extra parts, all the weapons and uh, new parts for this kit are going to be starting to show up now. So uh, this one is not new as I believe everything on here is uh, repeated from the original Unicorn kit. We've got our orange psycho frame parts there for the shield, uh, some uh, just other parts for inside the shield there in that same inner frame color, a couple of normal clear colored parts there for some cameras, and then a couple of red uh, clear parts there for in the head where on the unicorn these were green, uh, now these are in red. Next we've got WB which is going to be uh, parts for making our normal shield here for the unicorn, all in this dark blue color. Then we're going to skip a few letters in the W alphabet to WM. And now, obviously those uh, letters that we skipped over are going to be runners from the, uh, I believe, from the full armor part set. If you got that for the Perfect Grade Unicorn, uh, that's going to cover the letters between WB and WM. 
But uh, for WM here, we've got obviously the very large pieces for the Armed Armor DE shield. Uh, very, very large pieces here. WN is going to be the rest of our uh, big pieces for the Armed Armor DE. Uh, again, just in that same dark blue color. And again, the uh, marking for this, I didn't show you in the last one, but I can show you here. It's just 160 scale Armed Armor DE. So if this is ever going to actually be sold as a separate uh, unit, I highly doubt that, but it is cool that they marked this as Armed Armor DE rather than Banshee or Banshee Norn. It just makes you think that uh, it might be possible that we might get uh, parts for a Phoenix. Uh, parts, probably not a whole gold-plated kit, that'd be insanely expensive. But I don't know, could be parts for a Phoenix? Who knows, I don't know. Then uh, WO here is going to be some more clear orange inner frame, uh, uh, cycle frame parts for the uh, armed armor DE as well as for the backpack. Uh, so this runner is marked specifically for the Banshee Norn because of those backpack parts. So this just says PG-160 scale Banshee Norn here on WO. And it's the same story here for WP as we've got the uh, these like light bluish gray colors. Again, these are mostly going to be parts uh, for the backpack as well as the Armed Armor DE shield here. I like that we've got these parts where on the Master Grade and high grade versions, those were just stickers, but now we've finally got them as extra parts for that uh, lighter gray color on there. And WQ1 is going to be uh, really beautifully gold plated parts here. Uh, these are just going to be parts for around the collar and then parts on the face and head. Uh, really, really nice plated gold here. Again, uh, some of the nub placement is pretty good. A lot of these parts are undergated. Uh, not all of the gates are undergated, but um, many of them are. So we'll just have to see how bad those nubs are once we actually get this all put together. Then WQ2 is back to molded gold rather than plated gold uh, for our parts for the backpack here. And this one, again, is also marked for Banshee Norn. But then, interestingly, as we get to runner WR here, we're back to this uh, bluish uh, color here. And this is what's interesting about this. Okay, if we look at the marking here, it's one PG-160 scale Banshee. So, uh, but these are obviously parts that are specific for the Banshee Norn, so that's very curious. The other curious thing is that the pilot figure is located here, and the pilot figure is Riddy, and Riddy did not pilot the Banshee, he piloted the Banshee Norn. So, um, we're very curious why this runner is not marked Banshee Norn, as pretty much everything on here uh, aside from the head parts in the center are uh, very specific Banshee Norn parts and not Banshee. Almost to the end here as we have a WS1 is going to be our basically mounting bracket for mounting the revolving launcher onto the uh, beam magnum and a WS2 is going to be our beam effect part for the revolving launcher. A really really nice beam effect part similar to the master grade. It's really really nicely detailed uh, so that's going to be really good in there. And finally, the last thing is uh, runner WT, which is going to be our uh, part for the revolving launcher here. Uh, really nice, and we do have two of these. The reason we have two is that one is an uh, extra uh, pack that you can put onto the back skirt as basically extra ammo. Uh, if you want, uh, maybe not, I won't, because I know it, it will probably get in the way of other stuff like it did on the Master Grade, but we'll just have to see. Anyway, that is it for all the runners. All right, so normally at the end of an unboxing, I would put the put everything back in the box and then close it up and show it to you guys to wrap it up, but this time I'm not gonna bother uh, putting everything back in the box because I am gonna try to get working on building this right away, which means I'll be trying to uh, live stream some, some of the building of this as well, as much as I can. So anyway, uh, I'll be, again, I'll be posting details about that on Facebook as well as Twitter. So if you want to see any of that, um, or you can, if you can't watch it live because of the time difference or whatever, you can watch it here on my channel, uh, later on once it's posted. So thank you guys for watching. This was a very long unboxing, but as you can tell, there's obviously a lot in there. I hope that was helpful for some of you guys. Enjoy. Once again, a huge thank you to my sponsor, Mind Phoenix, for sending this to me. Uh, those guys are awesome. Again, if you guys are living in Australia, please, please, please check them out uh, and let them know uh, how thankful we all are for uh, hooking me up with this kit. It's awesome. I'm really excited to build it. Anyway, uh, I will be putting in the LED unit as well, so that should be pretty cool. Can't wait to see what it looks like. Uh, anyway, thanks guys. I'll see you soon.